Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Auction Recon. If there is one thing I cannot stand, it is a dirty wheel. And especially a dirty wheel where brake dust has been just baked into the finish of the wheel. Today, we're gonna to try and tackle it with just a standard wheel cleaner. And then I'm gonna show you if that doesn't do the trick. There's a shop manager. If that doesn't do the trick, uh, what we can bring into the equation to get them clean and move on to the protection step. Have a seat right there, young lady. Uh, think it's time to get to work? I do too, let's get to it. So the auction puppy van is coming along nicely. We have the headlights and the fog lights restored safely. I can see at nighttime. We gave it a wash, we gave it its first wash in a long time. It actually has some gloss. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. The next thing we're gonna do is work on the wheels here, and you're gonna be able to see the, the bonded brake dust that has just baked on, and then there's dirt on top of that, and it's also starting to, the finish is starting to break down and crack and separate itself from the base of the wheel. I mean, I can, I can live with that. I just can't live with a dirty, contaminated wheel like that. So we'll take care of all four of them today in this video. The brake dust that's baked on, not quite as bad back here, but there's a lot of just regular dirt. Same thing over here. And then over here as well, we have that baked on brake dust. So what we're gonna do is just give it a shot with a standard wheel cleaner. We're gonna use the BDX high definition wheel care from 3D. And then back here, I have a surprise in case that does not work that I bring into the equation to kick it into overdrive and get these wheels done. We'll see what happens here. Okay, the 3D BDX 117 is a pH neutral or a pH balanced wheel cleaner, which is safe for most wheels. Spray it on, let it turn purple, agitate and rinse. I have some in this bottle here. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I don't rinse the wheel first. Some like to, I don't. I want this wheel cleaner to come in contact with the wheel without being diluted whatsoever with any water droplets from rinsing the wheel. You can rinse and then dry it and do it that way if you want to. Douse it heavily, let it sit, turn purple. I have a detailing brush here that is ready. If it even is gonna turn purple, let's give it some time. After about two to three minutes or so, there are areas that are turning purple. This has a rancid smell to it. <coughs> burning the throat. Make sure you are wearing your PPE and working in a well-ventilated area. So at this point, we're going to agitate and see what this did on its own. Get in and around the lug nuts the center cap, the face of the wheel, and around the spokes. I'll dip the brush every once in a while. Sometimes this combination or this uh, cleaner on its own is well enough to do that it will get a wheel clean without any further action. Other wheels like this one here, it needs a little bit of help. Now you can see the purple running down, so it is doing its job to a certain extent. Come in and rinse it thoroughly. Oh, 
I guess it would help if I turned the pressure washer on. For Pete's sake. Sorry about that, guys. Now, at this point, you can see all of that junk running off the wheel. It got it a little bit better, especially the face of the wheel where the spokes are, but in and around where the ferrous metal or brake dust has baked its way into the finish, it needs a little bit of help. And that is where I bring in the Detail World Force Acid Wheel Cleaner, 32 ounces. Now it is meant to be cut four to one. I don't ever directly spray these onto the wheel and let them soak. What I will do is get a damp microfiber, spray that into the microfiber, ready to use, and then do a little bit of agitation and a little bit of elbow grease in these areas and then flush immediately after, just like this. Now this is gonna take a little bit of work. There are no free lunches in detailing. Just spray it into the microfiber. Get it onto the area, let it soak in a little bit, and then apply the pressure and work the wheel. I will do this one, this one, and this one. We'll stop, we'll rinse, flush the area, and I'll show you the difference compared to the rest of the wheel. Again, you can spray onto the surface, let it soak a little bit. I don't want that overspray getting anywhere. So I'll just spray into this microfiber, agitate from there. Okay, we have two sections done. Hardly any effort whatsoever, guys. And now I'm even gonna use the hand or the arm or the wrist that has no power whatsoever, no strength. Just to show you, I can even clean the wheel with this gimpy arm here that I'm trying to get back to normal through some physical rehab. It's not fun, but there it is. So immediately rinse the area. I can show you. Clean, clean, clean. And then there we have the rest of the wheel. Piece of cake. Works fantastic and that's exactly the way I use it. So let me clean up the wheels the rest of the way and then all the way around and we'll see the results. I know you can already see it from here, but much, much better. You can safely use these types of aggressive cleaners with common sense. Now this is where dirt got behind where the clear is failing. And maybe I'll sand a little bit to see if I can penetrate those areas. But besides that, we have a nice bright silver wheel again. And I like. Okay guys, again, this is the Detailing World Car Products Force Acid Wheel Cleaner. Don't be afraid of the aggressive cleaners, just use common sense, such as find a shaded area, do not try to use them in the full sun when it's really hot and it can burrow itself into the finish of the wheel before you get to flush it. 
Work quickly, flush the area immediately after working it. If a wheel is that bad that it needs something like this, well, it's in horrible shape anyway, so what's it gonna hurt to give it a try with some common sense? I'll try and put a link for the products I show you in these videos down below. If I forget to do that, just remind me in the comments section. Speaking of the comments section, let me know what you think of the product and how it worked. I'm, I'm completely happy with the way it worked. Um, also, if you are not a member of this channel, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. If you like the videos and they have helped you, like them and share them, and I'll catch you in the next videos. This has been Brian from Apex Auction Recons, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.